What's up guys, you're watching the Sean the Glyph channel. Today we're going to go over all of my favorite cars from the JKs. We have a ton of new cars in the JKs. The JKs is actually a really nice case, so I can't wait to get to all these cars and go over all the nice ones with you guys. Alright, first up we're going to go ahead and start off with the 95 Jeep Cherokee. And we've actually seen the Jeep Cherokee last year. Um, we did see it in red and green. Um, this is actually a new casting for 20, uh, 2022, and uh, now it's a treasure hunt for 2023. So let's go ahead and get the red one out of the case. I think these Jeep Cherokees are awesome. Uh, you know, they're really good at off-roading too, so it's really nice to see uh, red, my favorite color. Looks really nice. I like those black wheels, and I like that plain, simple look to it. It does have a light bar on there with no details on it, and it's got a nice roof rack with a spare tire. This thing just looks cool and it's all jacked up with that nice winch in the front. Uh, obviously a really cool off-road casting. And that is the red one. Let's go ahead and park up the red one right here and let's go ahead and move on to the green one. Blend right in with the forest. Got 4x4 by that rear fender. Got a lightly smoked window tint with black interior, a black base. It's got 4x4 by that back window. And this green looks like a nice, rich color. It looks really good with this casting. Really cool and happy to have it. I'm glad there's another one this year and it's actually a treasure hunt. So let's go ahead and get to that treasure hunt. Let's go ahead and park up that green one and move on to the 95 Jeep Cherokee, the treasure hunt for the 2023 GA case. There is the artwork, so cool and the new graphics. So, see if I don't destroy it, but there it is. Congratulations. Uh, this symbol means you just found a collectible treasure hunt. Voila. I think the details are a lot better on this treasure hunt with that clear window tint, black interior, and it's got those brown muddy wheels. Looks like it just got done off-roading. Um, you know, it's got sponsorships on the side. It's got the 1995 on the side, which stands for the year of this make. And it's still got that awesome winch, rear tire, uh, light bar, and that roof rack. This thing just looks awesome. And if you're wondering where the low production symbol is, it's right there. That's how you know it is a treasure hunt. So let's go ahead and park it up with all those other awesome Jeep Cherokees. Really cool collection. I'm glad to have them loose. I like my cards loose rather than carded because what are they going to do in the card, right? Let's go ahead and move on to this would be the Super for this case. I have not pulled the Super yet, but this is the 1982 Toyota Supra. Um, this is the regular one. Really nice casting. Um, my favorite feature on this thing, I'll show you guys, is that blinking headlight in the front. One headlight's up, one headlight's down. I think that is so cool. This car has really nice details. The rear taillights uh, look phenomenal. It says Toyota Supra on the back. It's got a Hot Wheels license plate. It's got that rear muffler. It's got the louvers on the back window. I think that's really cool. I love when the 80s cars do that. Um, clear window tint with a gray interior. And I love those three spoke wheels. I think that look, fits the casting very well. Not too big, not too small of wheels. And that red color just looks sweet. All right, that is the 1982 Toyota Supra. Wish I had the Super, but hey, hopefully soon I'll pull it. This is the 1962 Corvette Gasser, and guess what? We've seen this casting before. That's right, we've seen it last year. New for 2022, the 62 Corvette Gasser in brown. Such a cool car. This is the Mad Mouse. Check out that blower sticking out the front. The front wheels are so small compared to the back. Definitely staggered, definitely got that drag build to it. Um, you know, the front end lifting up compared to the back just looks so cool. And I love that chrome interior. I think that chrome interior is the star of it with that clear window tint so you can see all that chrome in there. I don't know why. I just love when they do chrome interiors. I think it looks awesome. All right, that is the 62 Corvette Gasser. Let's go ahead and park that up. Let's move on to the new JK's uh, Corvette Gasser. And this is the Holly. So really cool. Awesome. Can't wait to get it out. Check that out. You know I'm digging this one more than that brown one because I love red, love that chrome, clear window tint, and uh, it's got those gold wheels which looks really cool on it. Definitely looks different than uh, what I'm used to. One other thing I want to mention is the exhaust. It's going straight off the headers by that front wheel. It's got a 327 in it, just like that rear fender says. It says fast fueling by that front hood. All right, that is the 62 Gaster part of the JKs, that recolor. We got both of them. Let's go ahead and move on 
to the Porsche 911 GT3 in red with black stripes. Now, we've seen this casting last year in blue. Um, the blue looks really nice. That black wheels, the blue just looks good. I do think this is an actual color for the Porsche 911 GT3. I love Porsche. They do hug the road. And this casting just looks phenomenal with those rear taillights, the headlight details. It's got a license plate. They definitely went all out with this casting. And it looks really good for basic. So let's go ahead and park up that blue one. And let's go ahead and move on to the black one that came out last year as well with gray wheels. With a dark window tint with black interior. And just like that last one, it's got the nice details with the headlight, the taillights. It's got that Porsche emblem on that front hood. And it's got a black base. And I love the simple, clean look on this car. Can't beat that. All right, that is the black one. Let's go ahead and park up that black one. Let's finally move on to the JK's one. Probably my favorite recolor of this Porsche 911 GT3. There it is. Red and gold, just like that Holly Corvette we've seen in this JK's. Seems like there's a lot of red cars in this case, um, especially with the gold wheels. We've seen two already. I definitely dig the gold and the red. I think that looks great together. The black stripes on there. And also that red stripe going down the center of the car has a gold stripe going down it too on both sides of that red stripe. So, you know, there's minor little details in there and it does have nice headlights, taillights, like I mentioned earlier in the other castings. That is the Porsche 911 GT3. Let's go ahead and park that up right here. Let's go ahead and move on to the Honda Civic Custom Recolor. Now this is definitely a popular casting, just like that Supra in this case. Um, and it was last year. Last year, we saw it in blue. Really nice. Different types of wheels from the front and the back. Got that white hood. And it's got like that pexi glass, racing glass, whatever you want to call that, bolted up on the car. It's got that big front bumper with a little turbo sticking out. And it's got that rear duck wing on it. I think this casting is really cool. I love those Honda Civics. Let's go ahead and park up that one. Let's go ahead and talk about the other one that came out with last year, which is a red one. Looks like it belongs in the red edition because it's got red and white. And uh, those chrome wheels look good. It's got the aero disc chrome wheel in the back, five spoke chrome wheels in the front. So it's got the same wheels that we saw in the first one with the white interior, clear window tint, just looks great. And uh, this one's designed by Aryu Asada. It says it right there on the side doors. Let's go ahead and park up that awesome red one. I think that one's really cool. Probably my favorite recolor of this Honda Civic Custom, but we got a new white one part of the JK. Let's get it out. Let's check it out. All right. It looks like we got new wheels in the front, but the same wheels in the rear. We're still rocking those black aero disc wheels in the back, but we got new black five spoke wheels in the front with the red trim on it. Um, white interior, lightly blue window tint. So we got a different window tint on each car. The red one's rocking clear window tint. The blue one's uh, rocking lightly smoked window tint. And now we got that blue. And the headlights are also blue as well. I love the deco on the side. It says Hot Wheels HW on the side. Um, no taillights, but that's okay. This casting's really cool. Let's go ahead and park up this awesome Honda Civic Custom. And let's go ahead and move on to the Nissan Maxima Drift Car Recolor. Now we've seen this last year. We've seen it, I think it was first we've seen it in red. And this is a really cool car. I was definitely digging it when I first saw it. And I thought, you know, this one should be a red edition as well, too. The three spoke wheels look great on it. You know, that chrome interior. And I love the hood on it. You can see that engine bay. It looks, you know, just spot on. They did a good job with this drift car. And it looks great. Let's go ahead and park up the red one. Probably my favorite recolor of that one. But also later this year, or actually, sorry, later last year, we've seen it in white. And this one got the Nissan on the front splitter. Got a black interior, black engine bay. Uh, not rocking the chrome like on the last one that we saw. It's got a sunroof and it's still rocking those same three spoke wheels, but in gray this time with a black base, no taillights or headlight details, but it's a really cool drift car. Let's go ahead and park up that Nissan Maxima drift car. Let's go ahead and move on to the final car, the final recolor that we got, which is the blue part of this J case. There it is. Looks like they put the American colors on there, red, white, and blue. Also, those white three-spoke wheels look great. Did, didn't change the wheels for this year. Sometimes they do that with the recolors. They'll change the wheels on a different year, you know, from 2022 to 2023. Sometimes we see different wheels, just like that Honda Civic that we saw, but they kept it the same. Um, definitely like those three-spoke wheels. I think it fits the casting very well, so I'm not complaining. And that is the blue, red, white, 
Nissan Maxima. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the Lucid Air. We've seen multiple recolors of this. Um, the first one that we saw was in gray. Unfortunately, I don't know where the gray one is. I bought it, but don't know what happened to it. And then we saw it in white. So let's go ahead and check out the white one. I think the white Lucid Air is probably one of my favorite other than the black. Um, these wheels are really cool. I love it. It's like saw blade wheels. Uh, you know, it looked like the wheels that we see on the C4 Corvettes in the 80s with the saw blade wheels. I think it just looks cool. It looks like it's ready to chop up, go, get some speed and go fast. So definitely digging those wheels on the Lucid Air. And that is the Lucid Air. Let's go ahead and park up the first recolor since we don't have the black one, or sorry, the gray one. And then the second recolor they got was the gold one. So let's go ahead and check out this gold Lucid Air. These Lucid Airs are fast. They're fully electric. And uh, I do believe they have a new Lucid coming out, uh, 2024 or 2023, get me wrong. But um, it's supposedly faster than a Bugatti Veyron, which is a couple million dollar car. So, you know, these things are quick. I mean, they might not look like it because it's a sedan. It's not like a hypercar, sports car. But man, these things are quick. So much respect to that. Let's go ahead and park up this gold Lucid Air. Let's go ahead and move on to the final one, which is the J-Case one in black. So now we're finally seeing it in black. So I wonder if they're going to do more of this this year or if this is going to be a Xamax or Red Edition. And I think the Lucid Air would be great in the Red Edition. Could you just imagine those saw blade wheels in red? I think that would look great. Um, you know, it's got that huge sunroof that goes all the way back to the back seat. Um, just like the Tesla, I think those are just cool. Just imagine looking at the stars at night through that sunroof. And uh, I think the black looks slick and sneaky and I definitely like it. All right, let's go ahead and park up that black Lucid Air and move on to the 1984 Pontiac Firebird. Man, you know I love the 80s, and uh, I definitely dig this one. I used to ride in one of these in high school, so I think this is cool. My buddy had one. We used to leave school and do burnouts in this. I think the sunroof on this is awesome. It's got one for the passenger, one for the drivers, with a split going through the center. Definitely happy they put a clear window tint on it so we can see that interior. It's rocking a black interior and a white base, which is a little bit different than I thought they would do. And it's got a hood scoop going to that driver's side. And it's got the Firebird emblem on that front hood. And it says Trans Am on the side. And it's rocking those five spoke chrome wheels. I think overall this casting looks great. There's no headlights or taillight details, but hey, I'm not complaining. I'm happy they made the 1984 Firebird. Let's go ahead and park that up. Let's go ahead and move on to some tuned stuff. That's right, we got the tuned twin mill. Now guess what? We saw this last year. That's right, we saw the tuned twin mill part of um, Treasure Hunts last year, sorry. And uh, what case was that? Uh, this is an international case, but yeah, this is a treasure hunt. We saw it last year. Can't remember what case. I'm trying to think of it. But in black, we got the low production symbol there in the front. I'm not going to open this one just because I am making a video of opening all the 2022 treasure hunts. So look forward to that. That's going to be a cool video. But now we got the green one. So let's go ahead and open up the green one and check it out. There's been three other recolors of this. I believe it was gray, black, and maybe red. These bright colors look awesome. I love how big they made those motors, and I love how they made that glass on the window, like huge, like it's like a one-eyed monster. I think it looks cool and unique. Um, this is definitely for the kids, and you know, I don't think they wouldn't like this. But this is not the only tuned car that we're seeing this year. We're seeing a lot of tuned Fast and Furious cars, so, you know, I'm happy to open this one and so I can add it to that Fast and Furious collection so I can kind of have a tuned collection going. I think that's going to be awesome. Um, definitely not complaining. Let's go ahead and park up that tuned twin mill. Let's go ahead and grab another tuned car, part of the J case. That's right. We got the tuned 83 Chevy Silverado. Now we've seen this in red and we've also seen this in green. Um, there's also a blue one as well, which I don't know what happened to the blue one. Um, now we got a darker blue part of the JKs this year, but let's go ahead and check out the red one first. Um, definitely building that tune collection. Now we're getting a ton of recolors of it. So 
It looked funny, but I love it. I personally drive a Silverado, a 2003. So, you know, I always got to grab the Silverados, even if it's tuned. Uh, the red, the white two-tone look to it looks cool. I love that chrome roll bar in the rear, that big blower motor coming out the front. It just looks so cool. It looks like a cartoon car, and I love those small little tiny wheels, that side exhaust. Definitely looks awesome. I'm not complaining. Let's go ahead and park up that red tuned. That thing is so small. We can fit it right there. That red tuned uh, Chevy Silverado. Let's go ahead and, sorry, let's go ahead and grab the green one, which is the next recolor, or might have been the blue one, but we don't have the blue one. Um, now we got it in green. Now this is definitely a brighter color. It's gonna look great next to that tuned twin mill. Um, those blue wheels look awesome. Um, the blue window tint, all that chrome on there just looks great. The chrome interior, the chrome front grille, chrome bumpers, chrome side exhaust, blower, row bar. Um, definitely a bright car, it definitely stands out and uh, definitely tuned. All right, let's go ahead and park up the tuned Silverado and let's move on to the JK3 color of it. Finally, now we got three different recolors and there's actually four total different recolors. It's got that sunset on the side of it. It's got the chrome wheels, um, chrome side exhaust like on that last one that we saw. Um, definitely digging this color. It looks like it's got like sparkles in it. It looks really nice and uh, not complaining with a black base. They all have a black base. So really cool to see this again in the J case. Let's go ahead and park this one up. Really cool, definitely digging that. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the custom Camaro, actually the custom 2011 Camaro, which we've seen this before. Was it earlier this year or the end of 2022? I'm not exactly sure. With the white wheels, blue and white. I think that looks really cool. Um, now we've seen, I gotta collect all the Camaros, so I'm definitely grabbing it up. Um, you know, one to open up, one keep carded. So let's go ahead and check out this awesome white one. Got blue tired with chrome wheels, um, white instead of the blue like the last one that we saw. And uh, it's got the same exact livery on the side of it, on the front of it. It's all exactly the same detail. It's got the eye on the front and the eye on the side. I'm not exactly sure. This might actually be the Hot Wheels art car for this year. And yes, it actually is the art car for this year. Sorry, I just checked it. Um, so that can make complete sense. Usually if you collect all the art cars, It'll spell out something. All right, that's the 2011 Custom Camaro. Let's go ahead and move on to the Mitsubishi Pajero Evolution. Um, this is really cool. Definitely excited to see this. This is actually a new casting for 2023. I wonder how many recolors we're gonna see of this. So the first we got here is red. I wonder if the next one can be white. It says rally art on the side of it. I'm definitely digging that white gray black details on the side and those white air disc wheels i love when they do that with the rally cars those air disc wheels fit the rally cars just so well it's got nice headlight details it's got a nice grill with the mitsubishi emblem on the front clear window tint black interior and it has a spare tire with a tire cover over it so you can't see that rear tire and it also has mud flap that's awesome definitely digging those mud flaps let's go ahead and park it up and let's go ahead and move on to the 1987 Ford Sierra Cosworth, which we've seen multiple recolors of this, I believe in yellow and I believe in red. Um, unfortunately, I didn't pick them up. Wah, wah, wah. So we're just gonna check out the gray one. I do have to say the gray one would be my favorite recolor of this casting with those gold wheels and that gray color, clear window tint, black interior, just looks so cool. And I definitely like that rear wing. I think that's awesome. It's got the Castro on the side with the number 87 and it doesn't have rear taillights, but the front uh, headlights are glass, just like the windshield. So that's pretty unique. All right, let's go ahead and park up that Ford Cosworth caused the car accident. And let's go ahead and move on to the 2017 Audi RS6 Avant. And we seen an Avant last year as a super treasure hunt, which I believe that one was a different year. It was a little more boxy looking. Now we got it in green. This is the same green that we saw on the 95 Jeep Cherokee as the first car that we opened up part of this J case. Um, definitely digging that green. I think it looks great. It looks like a forest green. And the details on this car, I gotta mention, they did a great job with this car, the taillights, it's got the Audi emblem in the back. It's got a plate. It's got front headlights. It's got a plate in the front. And that's a lot of detail for a basic car. I mean, it's only a dollar and 18 cents. So nothing to complain about. And uh, it's got a sunroof, clear window tint with gray interior. They definitely did a great job with Audi Avant. Let's go ahead and park up this Audi Avant back there by that Chevy 
Camaro. Let's go ahead and move on to a new casting for 2023, the Honda Super Cub Custom. Now, we've seen this casting last year. Let's go ahead and check it out, which was a new one for 2022. We've seen it in black and red. We've also seen it in red and white. Oh, and I have to mention that it's different. So this is the Honda Super Cub that we saw last year, and now we're seeing it with the Honda Super Cub Custom. And really the only difference I see here is the head. handlebars look the same. It doesn't have a front fender by the wheel on the Custom. It does have a box, like a storage container in the back. It doesn't have a big rear fender on the back. It's more sporty looking. And uh, it's got more of a sport exhaust coming up on the side there. This one's got an exhaust coming down low. Um, but not too much of a difference, and it's got different wheels. You know, it's got thicker tires on there. It looks like the uh, tires on the Cub are just, you know, flat. So definitely cool to see that. And also last year we've seen another recolor in blue and red and black. So, um, and this is a little bit different. So I'm going to keep these carded, all these uh, Honda Super Cubs, and I'm going to open up the Honda Super Cub Custom. This reminds me of uh, Peter Parker riding that scooter in New York delivering pizzas. I'm so happy they put a stand on the bike because I want to stand it up to showcase it. And no, you can't turn the handlebars and turn that front wheel. It's not on a swivel or anything like that. It just goes straight. Um, I don't think you'd be able to use it on the track, but I do like that white red. And uh, I wish they put the red handlebars like they did on last year's uh, not custom. Uh, definitely looks like an offset with the gray handlebars, but it does look a lot more sportier than that last one that we saw last year. All right, let's go ahead and park up that Honda Super Cub Custom. And let's go ahead and move on to the Clergo GT, a new car for 2023. Um, definitely looks exotic. I didn't even do any research on it, to be honest with you guys. I'm not sure if this is actually a real car, if it's a fantasy car, but it looks like a fantasy car to me, and I just thought it looked cool, so I picked it up. It's got the Clergo GT on the side of the car. Um, it's got the Emblem GT on the front. It doesn't have taillights details, but it does have headlight details, which is basically just that, you know, window plastic at the headlights. And uh, it's a two-seater. It's got two seats there in the center. Um, I would imagine the doors go up like Lambo doors. And it's got a black base with a plastic gray rear wing. It definitely looks exotic. Let's go ahead and park it up and move on to the final car in this mix, which is a new for 2023, which should be a Zamax. Look at that, it's got a Zamax body, which is basically no paint and a clear coat. But first, we've seen this casting earlier this year in white. And uh, what's really cool about this is it's got braille on the side of the car, which I'll go over that when we open it up. But first I wanna tell you, if you swipe your finger across here and you know how to read braille, I'm pretty sure that says Hot Wheels twice. So that's really cool. Um, I think that's very clever that they came up with that and they put it on the twin mill a classic hot wheels car and the braille on the side of the car i believe says hot wheels if you know anything about braille or you know how to read it or you know exactly what it says please drop in the comments what it says um obviously i, I do not know how to read braille unfortunately but i want to know what it says and i definitely dig that white on white on white looks like a miami vice you know, color. I love that Miami Vice vibe. So let's go ahead and park up the first recolor of the Braille Twin Mill. And let's go ahead and open up the Zamax color. I'm just gonna call this a Zamax, even though it's not a Zamax. Whoa. It's got a chrome base, chrome motors, does not have any windows on it. It's got two stripes going down the center of the car in gray, um, five spoke chrome wheels with gray tires. Such a good theme for this Braille car. I don't know why this is not a Zamax, just like that coupe clip that we saw last year that was pretty much a Zamax, but it wasn't. All right, let's go ahead and park that up. Now we've opened up all my favorite cars, including the treasure hunt part of the JKs. Unfortunately, I have not pulled that super yet. I am looking for that. That thing is going for $150 as of right now as I make this video, which is crazy because um, before people were finding it, they're going for about 50, 60 bucks. I should have bought it when it was that price. Um, you know, fingers crossed that I find that super. I really want to find it. I've been having some luck with supers lately. If you haven't been watching my short feed, go ahead and watch that now. We find a lot of supers and chases and a lot of cool cars on there. So you don't want to miss out on that. So don't forget to like and subscribe.